Hey, Chuck here again, and today I have something that I learned today, and it's how to bind one of these new FR Sky X Lite S radios with an XM Plus receiver. So there's some firmware versions that are um, dependent here. So basically, you're going to make sure that your XM Plus is upgraded to the um, the last old version of software. So the firmware, and I'm going to show you on the um, on the um, X Lite here. So I'm just, just going to go ahead and use the S port, smart port plug, I guess, smart port, S port, I don't know. Going to use a servo wire. The um, corner is ground. So make sure you always have the ground in the corner of the um, of the XM Plus. So let me go ahead and power this thing up. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. So I have a bunch of different versions of SD cards because I've, I've been playing with a, a bunch of stuff. But in any case, let me just go through this. So... First thing you want to do is make sure that the firmware for the the XM is the old version, 170313. So version 17, the, the last one here, 170313, and I used the FCC RSSI 8. And so once you do that, it'll ask you if you want to flash S port. And if you do that, it'll start flashing the receiver. So let me just go ahead and go through that real fast. So there it goes. It's writing. Should go pretty quickly. The other part of this is the internal transmitter inside of the the X Lite. So I'm just going to show you what the firmware version number is. I'm not going to actually do it because it takes a long time. But let's see, this is almost done. So it's still flashing. Seventeen oh three one three. Okay, so flash successful. Okay, so now I have the XM Plus flashed with the correct version. And so now I'm just going to take that and attach it to another servo plug that I was using to test with on the quad. So I'll just go ahead and plug that in. So now it's going to be powered if, if I powered it up. And so now I'm just going to show you what you have to do on the X Lite. So on the X-Lite, what you have to do is you have to install this version 113. So version 113 will work with the XM Plus. So you don't want to install any of the 2.1 stuff. All of the 2.1 stuff does not work with the D16 on the XM Plus. There is a D16, but... It's with the, I believe, Access protocol. It's the, it's the other FR Sky protocol, the new one. So, so basically, make sure that you're on version 113 on the internal ISRM. And I'll put links to the firmware in the description. But you would just go ahead and flash the firmware there. And once you're done there, let me just go ahead and demonstrate how you would um, bind it. So, yeah, this isn't my radio, so I'm kind of learning the stuff. So, I'll go ahead and make sure that we're in XJT D16. And I'm only using channels 1 through 8. And I'll go ahead and select the bind with telemetry off, no telemetry. That'll start to beep. Then I'll go ahead and 
hold down the, the bind button here on the XM and power up. Okay, so we got a green light here now on the XM Plus. Sorry, I got a fan in the background here. But anyway, let me just go ahead and uh, stop this beeping for the binding. So that's stopped there. And so now I'll go ahead and power off. And now when I power back on, the light goes green. So, so this XM Plus is now bound to this FR Sky X Lite. And it's just a matter of making sure that the firmware versions are compatible. So I'll put those in the description, but that's the key for, for using any of your old stuff. And just uh, make sure that if you want to use your old XM stuff, don't upgrade your firmware to the latest on the um, internal IS. What's it called? IS? Ah, I'll put it in the description. Okay, thanks a lot.